Yeah, listen, um, obviously, things have not gone, look like it's gone his way over here um, regarding the um, incident with the, the betting scandal. But it's 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 one of those ones where you look at it and you think, hopefully he can get over this part. I don't know what's going to happen. If there's a bit of uncertainty over him, um, over him because of the Premier League, obviously doing the investigations, and that's going to take effect in the way he plays as well. So he's probably want to he probably want to just um, be around things that are more comfortable to him at this at this stage. Um, I don't know what the club's mindset is like towards it, but we he, we want him. Obviously, I see um, Julian Lopetegui say the other day that he's 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 way more than welcome to stay with us. Um, but at the same time, we're going to have to understand that there's um, bigger and um, nastier elements that are lurking around the corner. We don't know what's going to happen with him, um, and that's. That's a, it's left in the God's hands right now. We don't know what whether we're coming or going. So um I'm I'm hoping that it gets dealt with in the in the correct way and there's not too much of a harsh um um situation for him to deal with. And hopefully he could get over this period in his life and um start focusing on on his football again. Oh, Carl Walker Peters, yeah. I've been a big fan of Carl Walker Peters, although he's um uh, ex Spurs. Um <laughs> not saying that's a bad thing, but um it, Carl Walker Peters always showed promise. He's of he's a he's a he's a fantastic talent, very positive, great defender as well at the same time. So um I really do like this the the look and the, the link that we have towards him. Hopefully he does um he does see the value in coming to us. He's done really well. Um and he just now needs um, somewhere to grow into that Premier League um, all-time great. And I think West Ham is the right place for him. Well, listen, I've I, I've seen him play. Um, I know that he used to play futsal um, and he was playing for England uh, in the futsal. So he shows that he's got great ball, close, great ball, close control. And um, he's going to be a good defender for us, I think. I think he's one of those players that me will suit um, Lopetegui's style um, with um, coming out from the back with the ball at his feet, starting the attack um, and finding um, players in good positions. He looks like he can do that. And I think he's just going to be a great addition to what we have, we have already. Um, Lopetegui has gone for certain players that are ball playing and he's, and he's worked with him before. So he knows exactly what what he can do and the capacity he can play at. So that's, I think it's a great signing for West Ham and it's a great signing for him. Listen, the fee doesn't actually um, um, concern me. You know, nowadays it's not about the fee. That's between club and club. Um, it's just what the player produces on the pitch. That's what we should care about as fans and um, as pundits really, because that's what it is. What is he doing on that pitch? And does it warrant um, um, him playing week in, week out? And I think that's what he's going to do. He's going to be playing games and he's going to grow from us. Listen, um, I, I do like the sound of um, the player, but I don't know that much about him. Um, but listen, I, I know Kurt, obviously, personally. Um, I'll be sad to see him go, but at the same time, um, he, had, he was a good captain for us last season. Um, but at the same time, you just don't know what the manager wants. I don't know what um, Lopetegui wants, what kind of player he wants. Does he fancy um, having Kurt Zuma around? Um, I know that he's a great, he's got a great attitude around the club, um, but I just don't know what Lopetegui wants. If he wants to replace him and bring something else in, um, and it balances the books as well. We've got to look at that. Balancing the books at the moment is um, a massive um, thing that the Premier League, all Premier League clubs have to consider. Um, on wages, on fees, and all that sort of stuff. So, it's um, it's uh, it's in the hands of the gods, really. For me, I don't know much about the player, so I got to do a little bit of background check. So I can't really talk on him that much, but I can only talk on what I know about Kurt. And Kurt is um a player that I would love to retain, but at the same time, if the manager sees fit that um times up, then times up. It's not that's nothing to do with me. But I just really, I, li I like the player and I like him as a person and I hope that he does stay if he can.
Well, when I was... Uh, Danny Ings, it hasn't happened for him the way I thought it would. Um, he was asked to play a certain style, a certain system, in a certain system, which did not suit the player. Um, so I do... My heart goes out to him because he's had to fit into something that doesn't play to his strengths whilst he was at West Ham. Now, having a new manager come in, sometimes, obviously, we can see that there's new ideas, there'll be new um, structure, new system. Maybe that suits him. But at the same time, where is that um, Danny Ings' head? I don't know. What, does he fancy going back and being the main man somewhere? Um, does he fancy um, staying at West Ham, fighting for his place? Because I know what I would do. I'd always fight for my place no matter what. But he has tried the last couple of years, but that was a different manager. So would you stay around and maybe just see how it goes? I'm not sure. Remember, he's not getting any younger. I think, what is he, 31 now? Um, and whoever gets him, Southampton, I know that's his old club and he probably might fancy a, a, a trip up, <laughs> trip to Southampton and um, to, to he's probably got his house up there still. You don't, you, I don't know. But... Um, it's a, it depends on the player and how he was, but I I like Danny Ings. I know what he brings. He's a he's a he's a finisher, but you just need to get him in the positions to finish those t chances that comes to him. Oh, that's a hard one. I like Kalechi and and Ian Natural, but I just feel he's got a bit of inconsistency um, sometimes. Uh, I don't know why. Some, he'll have a great hot streak and then you won't see him again for the rest of the season. <laughs> um, a bit like myself, really. Um, but um, then you've got, you've got, um, I do like, I do like the Spanish, the Spanish feel because he, oh, I don't even know. Tammy Abraham's one that I, I've always been an admirer of Tammy. I think, he can, he can, I want, I, I know that he wants to conquer the Premier League. So he might be one, and he's a young player as well. So, he, and he's going to have a lot of, um, he reminds me of a young me, Tammy. So I'll probably go with a Tammy Abraham. Um, he can run in behind. He can hold the ball. Well, I would love to be able to coach him to hold the ball a little bit better than he does. Um, but I think depending on how um, Julian Lopetegui wants to play, um, he might not need to be doing that. He might need to just be playing on the shoulder um, and he can do that also. So, And he's a fox in the box, the boy. So um, I do like the sound of Tammy Abraham and I think he'll be good suited to us.